What up guys? It's Carl. Today is October 21st, 2022. I just got home. It's 6.15 a.m. Uh, yeah, before I get home, I was uh, downstairs just talking to myself because I noticed some of the emotions arise every time after I finished my morning run. In the past few weeks, I just felt a little bit anxious because somehow I just connected, you know, coming back home with uh, with this sense of nervousness, I guess. I just felt uh, anxious. Yeah, I felt anxious. Um, so I would rather spend some time uh, downstairs in, in the community walk, I mean, community like playground and gardens. Uh, you know, while nobody is down there, it's still kind of dark. So I spent some time this morning talking to myself. I just want to figure out what are the thoughts behind these emotions. I realized, um, yeah, I still felt really, I don't know, I felt anxious recently. Um, after I finish my run, I know I'm going to record this video and I used to be like, I mean, I've been always having this principle that I say whatever I feel, but um, recently I've been like just having this spiritual awakening that I am actually not my feelings, I'm not my mind. I'm not my thoughts, uh, which made me doubt my thoughts and emotions very much. And I start to have a lot of just random, just random thoughts. And so, um, how do I explain this? Like, Like about two, three months ago, I always felt this passion and irresistible eagerness to express myself on some certain subjects like uh, taking action without thinking. I mean, I still talk about it, but I don't feel that eagerness anymore because I feel I've already talked about it. Um, I know I need to repeat them, but I just don't feel that eagerness to repeat naturally because um, that's not what I've been feeling nowadays because I have already overcome that part. I have already practiced this part for quite a bit and this is really natural to me. And I only talk about stuff that I personally experience and yeah, personally, recently, I've been just having these spiritual awakenings. I realized we are not our thoughts. We are not our mind. We created multiple ego, aka the false self, for ourselves. Um, since we were children. Uh, because we have to... It's like a natural thing to, it's a, it's a, it's a natural ability for our brain to make up a story, to legitimize everything, every experience, especially the negative ones. We have to make up a story to make, <coughs> to make sense of the experience. Does that make sense? Um... So, I was asking myself earlier, what's behind this? I realized I still got a lot of doubtful noises in my subconscious mind. I still have a lot of inconfidence in myself in terms of speaking and providing value with my words. I still have a lot of fear left I still have this habitual way of thinking that if I don't provide 
something meaningful then my audience would cancel their subscription and my yeah my audience would misunderstand me and even attack me verbally um, yeah recently I did get a few you know misunderstanding comments negative comments but as I said I had this spiritual awakening I realized I'm not even my thoughts so absolutely I'm not what people think because that's the false self they created for me they thought I'm that kind of person they thought that is me does that make sense but those are not me like whatever they are talking about they are only talking about the person the image they created for me instead of the real me and there's no value for me to listen to those comments uh, so I just want to like comfort myself by reminding myself whenever I got some negative comments or even positive comments actually yeah I should actually uh, treat them equally because those are the same things actually people think about me positively or people think about me negatively those are all just an image they created for me which are not true which are not complete um, so I should not pay attention to either neither of them right instead I should uh, just focus on looking inward and feeling inward whenever I have some emotions feelings thoughts rises up in my mind in my body I need to feel them first I need to observe and notice them first and understand them so yeah I understand whenever I feel nervous before I come back home it was because the fear of negative comments because of the fear of lack of value in my videos and I also had this really messy thought works thought networks which just kind of sometimes drives me crazy because I have so many thoughts I have thought about many things and when I do turn on the camera I realize for the most of the time I forgot to mention that one or two things um, and I just kind of developed this standard for myself that I wanted to include everything that I thought of which actually are very hard to do and I shouldn't treat myself like this because I am a role model I'm a I'm an example for 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 beginners and this beginner mentality I should keep it to myself which I just expressing it without thinking so much without having a really high standard I don't have to make sense of everything I don't have to provide so much value in every video I don't have to be perfect I don't have to say everything correctly I don't have to have an, a very accurate understanding of everything I said yeah people can disagree with me people can judge me people can praise me people can leave negative and positive comments and they are all the same to me those are just what they they think they are not really me 
okay and I'm still really early in my journey so a lot of things that I'm talking about right now does not make too much sense but I guarantee you if you are watching this from the future you will understand what I actually did what I actually have been doing this is 2022 I'm still like a nobody seriously again I'm not beating myself up I'm not labeling myself I'm not trying to like defining myself but I'm just trying to like encourage more people this is real me I was like this in 2022 um, if you got to know me in the future and thought I a very great person and when you come back to this old video you realized you can actually do it too if I did it okay yeah this is true stories right so all right so definitely there are a lot of things that I thought about but I just neglect it and yeah which is fine this is one part that you have to keep in mind if you want to become a great speaker you have to let go of the pressure of making a perfect speech every time you are going to miss some points you are going to screw up you are going to say something wrong you are going to be misunderstood which are fine you have to accept them you have to actually invite them and then you don't feel the fear anymore because you invited them you wanted them to happen you want misunderstanding to happen because you know those misunderstanding is actually inevitable why not just invite them why not just embrace them come in come in come in misunderstand me i'm fine with that because you are just misunderstanding me, you are misunderstanding the person you created for me. Those are the so those are the images that you created for me. Those are not real me. You can talk shit about me. You can think anything about me, which is fine. I'm okay with that. I know who I am. Actually, I don't know who I actually am. I'm still exploring. I'm still trying to learn about myself every day. I learned a lot yesterday from the books I read. The power, of now, the power of now and this morning I studied my feelings why did I feel anxious and why did I feel nervous and I realized a lot of things that happened in the past still kind of left in my subconsciousness and they would arise whenever something similar happened and triggered them uh, yeah this is like just a bodily reaction um to environmental cues yeah so all right so i have talked enough i'm going to take a shower and yeah get my day going all right so thank you for watching today is october 21st 2022 have an awesome day see you guys next time bye bye